Welcome to Christian Podcast, where we look at the world and uh, our own lives through a Christian lens. Today, we're diving into something really fascinating, and it's moving incredibly fast. Artificial intelligence. Specifically, we're looking at its role in accelerating scientific research, but from a Christian perspective. You've probably heard about AI doing amazing things, right? But have you really thought about how it's like compressing decades of research into days? Yeah. And what that means for how we understand God's creation? It really is a profound shift. Um, it gives us totally new ways to explore the mysteries of the universe of life itself. But it also brings up some crucial ethical questions, especially when we look at it from, you know, a faith perspective. Okay, right. Let's unpack that. The sources we look at make it clear AI isn't just uh, sci-fi anymore. It's real. It's doing work that, well, used to take PhDs years, and now it's happening in seconds sometimes. So how exactly is AI impacting research efficiency on this kind of scale? Well, the striking thing is the sheer speed and uh, the scale of computation. Take OpenAI's O1 model, for instance. It scored, I think it was 92.8 in physics right. at a PhD level. Wow. PhD level physics. Yeah. And it provided 10 feasible measures for really complex problems like uh, overcoming white noise in entangled photon distribution. It did that in about nine seconds. And the answers were totally aligned with the latest research. Think about the time saved there. Nine seconds for something that complex. That's that's hard to even wrap your head around. It is. And it's not just physics. You know, look at Grok 4. It can pull out critical hypotheses from millions, literally millions of data points in seconds. And then it can automatically generate gene editing solutions. Gene editing solutions automatically. Yeah. Yes. It cuts down the manual screening time by about 90%. And uh, the error rates are actually lower than human experts. Lower error rates, too. So it's faster and potentially more accurate. In certain tasks, yes. It dramatically increases research efficiency and feels like genetics, for example. Okay, this is where it gets, for me, really interesting. Think about systematic reviews, you know, where researchers have to go through all the existing studies on a topic. That can take, what, 12 years sometimes? That's right. It's a huge undertaking. Well, one source mentioned the AutoSo platform built on advanced AI models. Mm -hmm. They can apparently do that whole process in just two days. Two days. It's a 3,000-fold increase in speed. It's astonishing. And the accuracy holds up? Yeah, high accuracy. The figures were something like 96.6% weighted sensitivity for abstract screening and 93.1% uh, average weighted accuracy for data extraction. It's reliable. So researchers are freed up from all that that manual sifting. Exactly. And it's not just reviews. OpenAI has something called deep research, too. It condenses hours of online research into minutes, generates detailed reports with citations um, comparable to what a professional analyst might produce. OK, so what does this mean for fields like, say, drug development mm -hmm. or maybe astronomy, where speed is critical? Right. In drug development, AI can rapidly analyze enormous amounts of chemical and biological data. It screens for promising drug candidates much, much faster, significantly shortening those long development cycles. Which could lead to new treatments sooner. Potentially, yes. And in astronomy, it processes these massive data sets from telescopes. It can quickly identify new planets, new phenomena, things humans might miss just because there's too much data. So it overcomes our limitations in a way. Yes, it overcomes inherent human inefficiencies, oversights. Its computational power finds patterns we might just not see or don't have the time or energy to find. Now, if we sort of step back and look at the bigger picture from a Christian perspective, we believe God is the sovereign creator, right? And the world is full of his wisdom, his mysteries for us to explore. Mm -hmm. Scientific research is, in a way, our pursuit of that embedded wisdom. So this raises a really interesting question, doesn't it? Has God perhaps given us a powerful new tool, this AI, to accelerate that exploration? That's a beautiful way to frame it. AI is a new tool for discovery given by God. How does it specifically help us understand his creation better? Well, think about Google DeepMind's AlphaFold 3. Okay, I've heard of AlphaFold, protein oh, folding, right? Exactly. It can figure out the incredibly complex ways proteins fold into their specific shapes in a, well, a very short time. This is something that could take a PhD student years of painstaking work. And protein folding is fundamental to life. Absolutely fundamental. Remember Psalm 139. 
You knit me together in my mother's womb. Yes. Research into these intricate details of life, like how proteins fold. It directly reveals the amazing, wonderful details of God's creation. So AI, in this sense, acts like a kind of fast forward button, maybe mm. bestowed by God, allowing us to approach these truths, these details of his handiwork more rapidly. So it's not just faster research. It's accelerating our understanding and maybe even our awe of God's creative power. Precisely. It deepens our appreciation, yeah. but, and this is important, like any powerful tool, AI isn't without risks. We need to be careful. Okay, so what are the key ethical considerations from a Christian viewpoint? Well, a primary one, and this is something the Vatican has actually issued guidelines on, is that AI should be seen as a complementary tool. It complements human intelligence. It doesn't replace it. Why is that distinction so critical? Because humans are created in God's image. We have unique dignity, value, and these distinct abilities, thinking, creating, making moral judgments. AI is amazing at speed and data processing, sure, but it doesn't have a soul. It doesn't have true wisdom or moral agency. Right. It's a tool, not a being. Exactly. And if we become over-reliant on it, or worse, start trying to use it to replace core human thinking or moral decision-making, yeah. we risk slipping into a new kind of idolatry. Idolatry? How so? Well, the Bible warns against making idols, right? Exodus yeah. 20.4. If we start treating AI like a sort of God that can solve all our problems, if we abdicate our own God-given reason and discernment to it, that deviates from Ross's teaching. We put our trust in the creation rather than the creator. That's a very sobering thought. So how should this shape the purpose of our scientific research when we use AI? Paul gives us a great principle in 1 Corinthians 10.31. So whether you eat or drink or whatever you do, do it all for the glory of God. Okay. So when we use AI, our motivation must be primarily to glorify God and, flowing from that, to promote genuine human well-being. Not for destructive purposes, not for unethical gain. And are there other related concerns? Oh, definitely. Things like the explainability issue. If an AI gives us an answer, especially in something critical like medicine, can we trust it if we don't understand how it got there? Right, the black box problem. Exactly. And then there are the societal impacts. How do we adapt to the shifts AI might cause in jobs within research and beyond? We have to use it very carefully with wisdom and discernment to avoid these technological traps. So looking ahead, AI is clearly going to become even more central to science. What's the takeaway for Christians engaging with this? I think the approach should be threefold. Gratitude, caution, and a positive attitude. Okay, break that down a bit. Gratitude for the incredible human wisdom, which is ultimately God-given, that allowed us to develop AI in the first place. Caution, as we just discussed, using it carefully, ethically, avoiding those pitfalls and potential idols. And a positive attitude, actively looking for ways to use AI to deepen our understanding of God's creation and to serve others more effectively. So it's not something to fear, necessarily, but something to steward wisely. Exactly. It can genuinely become a powerful assistant on our faith journey. Helping us know and glorify God better. Absolutely. By revealing more of his incredibly intricate design. You know, it's interesting. Recent research even shows a link between how efficiently language models compress information and their intelligence. It just highlights the complexity and potential here, reinforcing why we need to keep exploring and understanding AI, but always guided by our faith and ethical principles. Hmm. That makes sense. So just to recap, we've talked about AI's mind-blowing speed in research physics, gene editing, those systematic reviews. We've seen its potential as maybe a divinely provided tool for under understanding creation more deeply, like with protein folding. And we've touched on those really vital Christian ethical points, AI as a complement, not a replacement, avoiding that danger of idolatry and making sure our goal is always glorifying God and serving people. That's a good summary. And moving forward, that call remains. Approach this with gratitude for the gifts God gives, caution in how we apply them, and a positive, active stance to use it for His glory and for human flourishing. Well, we hope this deep dive has given you, our listeners, a richer understanding of both AI's incredible potential and the important Christian lens we need to view it through. So reflecting on all this, what stands out most to you? Is it AI's role in uncovering God's creation, or perhaps the ethical responsibilities that come along with wielding such a powerful tool? Something to think about. Thank you for listening. See you next time.